Beelzebub is frequently described as being at the top of hell's food chain. According to the legends of the 16th century occultist Johann Weyer, Beelzebub is the top lieutenant of Lucifer, the emperor of hell, and is in charge of the order of the fly. He also staged a successful insurrection against the devil. Similar to this, Sebastian Michaelis, a 17th century exorcist, listed Lucifer, Leviathan, and Beelzebub as the three most notable fallen angels in his admirable history. In his epic poem Paradise Lost, written by John Milton and originally published in 1667, Milton described an unholy trio made up of Lucifer, Astaroth, and Beelzebub, with Beelzebub being the second ranking of the numerous fallen angels. Beelzebub was described by Milton as, than whom, Satan accepted, none higher Saturday. The Pilgrim's Progress, written by John Bunyan and originally published in 1678, also features a character named Beelzebub. Beelzebub was linked by Sebastian Michaelis to the fatal sin of arrogance. Francis Barrett claimed that Beelzebub was the prince of idolatry, whilst Peter Binsfeld claimed that Beelzebub was the demon of gluttony, one of the other seven deadly sins. The charge of demon possession has been leveled inside religious communities as both a taunt and a way to label unusual behavior, such schizophrenia. In addition to deridingly accusing Jesus of employing Beelzebub's demonic abilities to heal people, Luke 11 verses 14 to 26, other persons have also been accused of being possessed for severe behaviors. Beelzebub has been blamed for numerous demonic possession cases throughout history, including that of Sister Madeline de Demandox de la Palade in Aixen province in 1611, whose relationship with Father Jean-Baptiste Gaufridi resulted in the torture and death of Gaufridi, the, the bewitcher of young nuns, in addition to countless traumatic events at the hands of her inquisitors. The Reverend Cotton Mather later wrote a pamphlet titled of Beelzebub and his plot. Beelzebub was also thought to be spreading his influence in Salem, Massachusetts. His name was mentioned frequently during the Salem Witch Trials, the last significant public manifestation of witch hysteria in either North America or Europe. The name Beelzebub, Hebrew, is seen in Melachim 212-3, 6, 16, when King Ahaziah of Israel sends messengers to Baal-zebub, the god of the Philistine city of Ekron, to find out if he will recover after suffering a terrible injury in a fall. Now Ahaziah fell through the lattice in his upper chamber that was in Samaria, and he became ill, and he sent messengers and said to them, Go inquire of Baal-zebub, the god of Ekron, whether I will recover from this illness. 2 Kings 1 verse 2 Ahaziah was therefore sentenced to death by God's decree through Elijah the prophet because he sought advice from Baal-zebub rather than God. But an angel of the Lord spoke to Elijah the Tishbite, saying, Arise, go up toward the king of Samaria's messengers, and speak to them, saying, Is it because there is no God in Israel? that you go to inquire of Baal-zebub the god of Ekron? Therefore, so has the Lord said, From the bed upon which you have ascended you will not descend, for you shall die. And Elijah went. 2 Kings 1 verses 3-4 The interpretation of rabbinic literature compares Baal-zebub of Ekron to the fly god. In rabbinical writings, the word Baal-zebub makes fun of the Baal religion, which the ancient Hebrews regarded as idolatry. According to Jewish scholars, the moniker, Lord of the Flies, refers to Baal as a pile of excrement and compares Baal devotees to flies. Depending on the text, Beelzebul or Beelzebub may be used interchangeably in the Gospel of Nicodemus. In some translations, Beelzebub is referred to separately from the devil, in others, Hades uses it as a supplementary term for the devil. In accordance with Samuel on Weir's modern Gnostic movement's teachings, Beelzebub was a demon prince who revolted against the Black Lodge during World War II and was persuaded to join the White Lodge by on Weir. The scribes accuse Jesus of casting out demons in Mark 3 verse 22 by using the power of Beelzebul, the prince of devils, 
The name also comes in Matthew 12 verses 24 and 27 and Luke 11 verses 15 and 18, where it is elaborated. The name is mentioned in Matthew 10 verse 25 as well. Knowing what they were thinking, Jesus remarked to them, Every city or family divided against itself will not stand, and every kingdom divided against itself will be destroyed. In the event that Satan drives out Satan, he turns against himself. So how can his kingdom endure? And if I expel demons using Beelzebul, who do your people use to expel them? So they will serve as your judges. But if I cast out demons with the help of the Holy Spirit, that means God's kingdom has indeed come among you. Matthew 12 verses 25 to 28. Whether Symmachus the Ebionite correctly identified these names is unknown. Zebal may have originated from a mangled pronunciation of Zebub, from Zebel, a term that the Targums used to indicate dung, or from the Hebrew word Zebel that appears in the phrase Bet Zebel, lofty mansion, in 1 Kings 8 verse 13. In any case, Beelzebul was changed to Beelzebub in the Gospels Latin Vulgate and Syriac translations, and this change was repeated in the King James Version. As a result, Beelzebul was largely forgotten by Western European and descendant cultures until some more recent translations brought it back. The Devil, commonly known as, the Prince of Devils, is also referred to as Beelzebub in the New Testament. It might be a pejorative distortion of Baal's bull, Lord of the High Place, i.e., Heaven, or, High Lord, according to Biblical scholar Thomas Kelly Shane. Baal Zabel is how the name is written in Arabic translations. Beelzebul, not Beelzebub, appears as the demon prince in the Testament of Solomon and claims that he was formerly a prominent heavenly angel connected to the star Hesperus, which is the traditional Greek name for the planet Venus, Aphrodite, O, as the evening star. Beelzebul appears to be a synonym for Lucifer in this context. According to Beelzebul's statements, dictators bring about ruin, devils are made to be worshipped by humans, priests are aroused to lust, jealousies incite murders. The Testament of Solomon is an Old Testament pseudepigraphical text allegedly authored by King Solomon. It contains significant Christian interpolations but largely discusses specific demons that the author enslaved to assist in the construction of Solomon's temple. The name Beelzebub first appears in the books of Kings, 2 Kings 1 verses 2-3, 6-16, where it is spelled as Beelzebub, a reference to a Philistine god. The name of a particular god was combined with the term Baal, which in Ugaritic means, Lord. Views on the meaning of the name vary. Baalsbub is also rendered literally as, Lord of the Flies. It has long been hypothesized that the Hellenistic gods Zeus Apomios and Myagros, who are viewed as pests because they feed on waste, had a connection to the Philistine deity of flies. The Ugaritic writing, which shows Baal driving out flies, the source of a person's illness, confirms this. The existence of two constituent terms that are linked to Baal Zebub here and joined by a function, NDY, that is typical of some deities attested in the Mediterranean region, as per Francesco Saracino, 1982, is a strong argument in favor of the authenticity of the name of the god of Ekron and of his potential therapeutic activities, which are implicit in 2 Kings 1 verses 2-3. Alternatively, the god's real name might have been Baal's bull, Lord of the, heavenly, habitation, and the Israelites might have made fun of him by calling him Baal Zebub. The name is translated as Baal Zebub and Baal Muyan, Baal of Flies, in the Septuagint. When Symmachus transcribed it as Beelzebul, he may have been honoring the derogatory ancient name of the place. Beelzebub, sometimes known as Beelzebul, is a name originating from a Philistine god who was once worshipped in Ekron and then embraced as a significant demon by several Abrahamic religions. The Canaanite god Baal is linked to the name Beelzebub. Beelzebub is a different term for Satan that is used in theological literature that are mostly Christian. He is regarded as one of the seven princes of hell in demonology. 
The Lord of the Flyers, or Lord of the Flies, as Beelzebub is referred to in the Dictionnaire Infernal is a flying entity. Thank you for watching.